Well, welcome back to this very special edition of Houston Happens. And as we prepare to celebrate all the moms out there, including my own very first Mother's Day, our friend Dr. Percy Morales from Modern Heart and Vascular Institute is here with a heartfelt reminder about heart palpitations. Doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank you for having me, Maggie. And happy Mother's Day to you and the rest of the mothers that are here today as well. Thank you very much. I really yeah. appreciate it. And we were talking, of course, our heart, I feel like it's going to burst with mm -hmm. love, but also we get anxious. Mm -hmm. And tell us a little bit about these heart palpitations. So heart palpitations is actually a very broad term and people experience them very differently. Some, it basically means an abnormal sensation of, of your heartbeat. So some people will describe it as like a, a skipping feeling, like the heart will kind of start and stutter, kind of just feel off a little right. bit. Whereas some people will describe it as a very fast or very hard beat. So they just feel like it's going very fast. And when it's not supposed to be going fast, so like you're just sitting there and it's feeling like it's going oh. fast, or even in the middle of the night, you wake up and your heart's going fast. So, so what causes this? So there's a variety of things that actually cause the heart palpitations. Most commonly, they're extra beats of your heart, is what, how I call them. They can come from the top or the bottom portion of the heart. And that's what gives that kind of like start and stutter type of feeling. But then there also could be like a short circuit error, which is a little bit more dangerous and serious. Mm -hmm. Other heart conditions called like atrial fibrillation or something called SVT, they make your heart go very fast. And that can be a little bit more serious than the start and stutter palpitations feelings. So what is treatment for this? So treatment for it, obviously first is just to check to see if it's serious or not. You know, obviously checking up would be, one thing would be a heart monitor. Mm -hmm. Heart monitor, when you're actually feeling these palpitations, can get a better, your doctor a better gauge of, is it something serious or is it not something serious? As well as a heart ultrasound, which would tell you if the overall heart is in good condition. Because if it's nothing too serious, then things that can be, help it, such as stress management, and we know a lot of moms <laughs> deal with stress. Easier said than done. I know, I know it's easier said than done, but stress affects the body in a lot of ways. Yeah, it does. It makes your heart go fast. Sometimes it causes palpitations, but under prolonged periods of stress, such as motherhood or parenthood or yeah. work stresses, you know, people have maybe sleep deprivation, excess uh, caffeine usage, excess alcohol usage, and all of those contribute to palpitations. So certainly lifestyle modifications, when possible, can certainly help with palpitations, but there's also several medications that can improve with these symptoms of palpitations as well. Well, here's the thing. I know as a mom, we put our health a lot on mm -hmm. the back burner because mm -hmm. we're taking care of everyone else. So when yeah. should we know, like what are some symptoms? When should we know we need to come see you? Well, when you have symptoms that don't want to go away, so you're having these heart palpitations day in and day out, and especially if it's feeling worse, you're starting to notice some chest pain, shortness of breath, that should certainly should be a red flag to get, to get a heart checkup. Okay, and how do we get in touch with you? So over at Modern Heart and Vascular, we provide, have appointments all over Houston area where we can do heart testing to see if these palpitations are serious or not, and if treatment is necessary. And doctor, I know that you wanted to do a special tribute. I think we have a picture of your beautiful family, if we can show that. So you have a tribute for your wife. Yes, I want to also say happy Mother's Day to my wonderful wife, Madeline, and the mother of our three beautiful boys. I appreciate you so much. Well, you know what? Doctors like you, you're approachable, and the fact that you're a family man and that you love your wife and your family so much, I want to come see you. So thank you, thank you so for looking much. out for all of the women in our lives. Yeah.